Good to see you, Hunter. We are back in Val de Bois. Could it be for Red Deer or maybe for Ibex or could it be for the Ptarmigans? Thank you very much for the suggestion, Sepsu. And I'm going to look for the brown bear here. I don't have a baiting station, but uh, I trust the mighty 300 carbon for some long shots. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful here. Oh, I'm sorry, I should get going. Let's get the carbon ready, the 300. This is a weapon that was introduced way, way after the original 300 with the dark, really boring looking plastic stock. No, it's composite, I know, but uh, it looks plastic. This one looks pretty pretty, I would say. And it's got a different sound as well. But it takes the same scopes, and I decided to bring the red dot scope for the reddish brown bear. My tactics will be to run for tracks, uh, running and running until I find some. The brown bear doesn't make any calls. And uh, like I said, I don't have a baiting station, so I can't go to point X and just wait for them to come in. But there's some open areas here in the lower parts around the uh, river. So I will be glassing quite a bit as well. And I'm sure we can see the brown bears. And like I said, one of the tactics will be longer shots on them. I'll have to place the shot well. But the 300 carbon is really a good weapon, certainly for the brown bear. Let's see how that goes. First brown bear sighting. Wow, that could be a long shot. But that's what we're in for. Let's see how we can do on this one. I hit where I ain't. But he's running. Yeah, now you can see the decal more than anything else. And the bear disappears. Let's go check what we hit here. All tracks in the water are just bubbled. So we won't be able to tell any health information. This seems to be here. And this is the curve that it ran. Just going to run. Let's check here how good or how bad the shot was. Intestines. Too far in the back, but certainly the bear's gonna die from this. I think I saw it run up here, yes. Before it disappeared. It's a good size bear, 480, 380 to 420. Max weight would be 490. And there's the bear. And then other one just entering the water. Ooh, that's a submarine bear. Smaller one. Can we get this as well? Yes, that went straight down. Through the flowers. <laughs> that's a lucky occurrence here. After... The bear here and I've been running. But here's our first brown bear, good size. A score over 28 is great. This one said 24 to 26. Twenty-five. Our first score here. Pretty happy for a start. And the lady that we shot across the water. Let's check that out as well, although. Not always easy to find the crossing. And there's a lady. I saw some other tracks from a bear just now. So there's plenty of bears here. Here she is. She was running, but I, I would guess it was a 100 meter shot. 118 meters, 308 kilograms. 
That's actually a big size female. And I believe these tracks are from the other brown bear. This is in the very north east of the map. Yes, just four minutes ago. Another female bear. And if I start walking, I should start seeing her. This is fairly open. A lot of... Uh, well, the area is really mostly around this brook here, around the river. And even at the shores, it's fairly open. If we're lucky, we can harvest three bears in a short time. There's the last track. So she will have run here. I'm going to start crouching and enjoy the landscape. Really pretty down here. And then the really tall mountains, really steep. So this should be, oh, this is an incoming old track. It's going to be funny now. So maybe this one here is a fleeing track. Yes. The bears rarely run up the uh, mountains. And they certainly won't go climbing. So this looks promising. Bear running into the open. That's where she is. Single shot rifle. Although I think I missed the second shot. But this could be our lady. Let's check the tracks here. This is Roe Deer. So she tried to sneak out on my backside here, but I heard her. I heard the running. Pretty sure I missed the second shot, although there's a blood spot here. And if I hit it was bad. Oh, look. <laughs> I hit both shots pretty uh easily visible now the first shot was from 100 and no the first one was from 90 meters and another 122 meters that was too much for the poor bear so this goes pretty well i will stick around this river here Oh, this is unbelievable. Here's the next fleeing track from the next bear. And all I'm doing is sneaking around this river. 1040. That is 20 real-time minutes. Somewhere is our fourth bear. Bad weather makes it hard to see. Oh, the next track is over there, so this could be a m bit more difficult. I'll just go up there and check if I can spot it somewhere. Bear has been running up the hill here. What makes it a bit more difficult is that we have tracks incoming, so the bear came pretty much the same way down towards the river. So now whenever you see a track, you have to see is this coming or going. But now this one is separating. We now have fleeing tracks in this direction. That's good. So I will just crouch after it. And glass. And I think since the change of the bears, or wh when they introduced the fur, when they introduced the smaller heads and whatever, they are now a bit less hard to hunt when they flee. 
before they were extremely sensitive, like you have with the grizzlies now, or with the polar bears. But I didn't have a problem catching up with the third bear there a couple of minutes ago. It didn't go too far and then when it fled, really ran in front of me. That was easy to get. But the challenge of course is here in the tighter woods. What do we have here? A r little rabbit. It's been a while since I shot a rare. Had quite a few silver tipped bears. But also albino. And I actually wonder if gold still exists. I don't even I don't even know. There used to be one that was called gold and maybe 10% of the bears even showed in the hunt history as gold. They were a bit brighter. Just thinking about these rare types now and the fur types. Um I realize I don't think when I've I, I cannot think of the last time I've seen a gold or maybe the gold are now pretty much the same color. Like you would see with the uh, glacier black bear. If you don't really look well, you might miss it that you just shot a glacier before it was pretty different. But the black bear al also underwent this change. And the changes are, the differences are more subtle. I think that's more realistic. Before the colors were really strong. And now they're a bit less blackish, maybe course the cinnamon you can tell but the chocolate again you would have to look twice if you're not used to these colors or you might confuse the way they common so with the brown bear I think I have to check a few hunt histories and check if people still shoot gold bears there's a mountain here which the bear cannot climb and a little roe deer female <whistles> calling now but where is the next bear track I would assume in this direction because this is where I came from and actually I think I can spot it <laughs> There's the brown bear. It grew some longer legs now. I thought I'd see the bear. Similar color. Is she nervous? That would mean the bear has spooked her. Oh, look, I brought the bow. Thank you for posing so long. I could really take my time here. And we have a little red deer in between. And I'll start walking. I don't know where the next track is. Now she was really begging for a shot. Should have been double lungs. Yes. Still looking for the track and there I see a bear. No, no, don't get me the binos, get me the gun. Roe deer. Roe deer. Who's next? Where have you been hiding? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got it. Very nice. So... After the bear had calmed down, it must have taken a left here. So is the next... Oh, there it is. Just didn't go too far to the left here. Again, checking the clock. 10... Uh, 11, 10. 1 hour, 10 minutes. Cut in half. 
would be 35 minutes. Four beers. And a long leg beer. Don't forget the red deer. <laughs> Another lady. So this one pretty easy. I think I'm gonna go over to Hemeldahl and check there how things are there now. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so I think I did pretty well with this uh, suit, I should say. I didn't wear any camo clothes. And I'm just gonna do the same here in Hemeldahl. I'm just gonna get going here in the north of Hemeldahl. I do have a barrel here, which I've had here for uh, a gazillion years. I'm not gonna move it, but it's empty. It's not active, so I'm not even gonna check. There's not gonna be any bear tracks. I'm just gonna do, do the same here. Uh, run around, look for tracks, and then see how we can catch up with these bears here. All right, now this is funny. I follow the bear coming from the south, and guess where it went? It went to the barrel, <laughs> even though it's empty. But here, the circle is pretty solid. So I've been running here. The bear must have ran as well. But I want to see the fleeing tracks. I'm just going to uh, start walking from here. Brown bear existed before baiting existed. The first brown bears we only hunted by following them. And sometimes they would roam really fast. And the only way to break this habit was to run after it, to make it flee. And after it ran for a while, for a short while, it would stand there. And that was your moment when you could catch up with the bear and see it and shoot it. Just crouching after it is really hard. But like I said, some changes have been made to these guys. So where's the where's the next track? Where does it continue? So it seems they want to check my barrel anyway. I have some soup for the goats in Bush Ranges Run, and of course some uh, even better soup here in this barrel for the bears. Well, it is a good place, I have to say. So I'm not surprised to find tracks. I mean, I put the bear, uh, the barrel there after all, because I found many tracks in the, in all the testing that I did. I put those barrels in many, many places, and this turned out to be the best. We have some reindeer that we have to pass up. Finally, there we go. So fleeing, and I will start crouching. Never crouch after an animal if it says 10 to 15 minutes ago. That is long gone, because fleeing means it's running far. And then 10 minutes ago, you can continue walking or even running. But if it says one minute ago or two minutes ago, that's when you want to start crouching and look for it. Here's another one. Oh wow, that's a big one. I'm going to I'm going to switch up to 460. This one is up to 370. So this one is 100 kilograms bigger. 490 is the max. So that's a big one. I'm going to start running after this actually. Switching the plan. Do you feel that you're running in circles sometimes? Well, I've done just that. Started here, went down here, followed tracks. And now I'm slowly getting back to my tent. I could have just waited there for 30, 40 minutes. Solid circle now. Where the bear is heading, there is a lake. You can see it on the, on the map. A frozen lake, somewhat open. If it is still around, we might get a glimpse. But again, this is a fast roaming animal. You see the solid circle. 
but I'm not sure if the bear's really there. It's usually further out. So I've been always walking at least until the circle was half the size of the hunter mate, which is the case now or with the next track. Let's read this and I'm going to start crouching. See if I can see it in the open there. Ah, uh, it turned. Although it turned south, this is where I came running from. Now it could be in many places. What a great wisdom. The bear could be in many places. So it's been fleeing into the open. That's perfect. That is really perfect. There's the border back there. It could disappear a little bit into the woods there. But it could also be somewhere in the open. Quick, quick, quick before it disappears. Nothing worse than seeing the bear walking over the hump. <whistles> yes, thank you. Any other hints? Just checking without the binos. Any movement somewhere? As usual, if you see it, yell, please. But then here is the uh, cliff. It could have taken a sharp left. Okay. And now I can see it. Didn't go far. I just came down the hill. Yeah, the, the weight went way down. And now it's only 24 to 26. Let's try a hard shot. From a distance of what? Who is good with guessing? 120. Only 105. All right. Oh, I level up this gun. Level 16. I didn't think I've shot it this much already. Uh, oh wait, it's got its own rank. It's got its own skills. So yes. I must have shot a thousand times with it. So I had a uh, roaming track. It was fleeing, then roaming again, and then certainly fleeing again. Because I was running in. And here it is. It lost a lot of weight running away from me. Did we hit the heart? Ah, we missed it. At 108 meters. And wow, the weight went way down. Uh, the estimation was 370 to 460, and now it's 380. All right. Another bear track in here. And I just kept running. I never bothered walking. Really want to see that one to seven minute ago fleeing track, which is the case now. And now I will start crouching. That's really the best way to get to them. So I hope the bear keeps going up this hill and not back into the woods. Down in these valleys is about the worst. Very dense, a lot of trees, hard to see. I think I hear it breathe. Oh look, there's our beer. Can you hear it breathe? Just gonna turn up the volume just on purpose.
Can you hear that breathing? But it's exactly behind the tree there. Here it comes. So the shot was louder now too. I will turn this back. A bit more than before. So here's the last bear. Rolling down the hill. Thank you for putting the tree here. There it is. What is this? Are you dead or aren't you? Are you saying something? This is funny. Look at the jaw. <laughs> All right. Here's the bear. Double lungs, but from pretty close. 48 meters. Trophy pose just to say goodbye. This was brown bear hunting with the 300 carbon in Val de Bois and Hemeldal. I hope you liked it and I hope I see you in the next video. Make sure to make your suggestion what you would like to see, which weapon, which animal and which reserve. And I'm trying to pull out the weapon and the bear disappears. Oh, there he says hello. It's actually her. And until next time. <laughs> and the jaw is off. But that's fine. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.